Okay, I think. Th hopefully, we're live right now. It's about 10 second delay on YouTube to my uh, phone, so we'll see. Uh, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Uh, before we start, uh, let's check the audio and video check here. Audio. Okay, sounds there. I think uh, audio is good, video is okay. And, and video is never good anyway. As long as we have a good audio, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, so we're going to go back to basic. All right. Uh, my channel is known for Bravo Brewster Express and Pro anyway. So let's go back to basic. All right. So if you are already expert making coffee, just hang out, okay? But if you're brand new to the making espresso, oh, welcome to my channel. All right, welcome to my channel there. So uh, I know most of uh, my number one question from you guys are, hey, what's the grind size? Okay. My answer is all depends. There's no one number I can give you. But with the Bravo Beast Express, make your life a little easier, right? You only have 16 choice. 1 through 16. So, having said that, uh, I'm always telling you guys, start with the middle. Start with the number 8 or 7. 7 or 8 uh, should be fine. Okay. Start with the 7 or 8, and then that's a good place to start. So, having said that, I have coffee here. So, this is uh, most of you, what, drinking what? Medium to dark roast, right, at home? So, this is a little dark. Okay. For, this is a Neapolitan from Good Brothers Coffee. And then uh, let's do 18 gram, all right? So, so here's, what, here's what I do. Comes the grind size, I start with, I think it's number eight right now. Okay, I'm gonna double check this. Okay, I'm just gonna start with the 18 grams of coffee. The reason why, <clears throat> the reason why I'm doing this, so I wanna keep track of it. I'm, I like to keep track of my dosing amounts. I know some of you out there use the hopper. You know, that's all right too. But, I mean, if you want to try to fine-tune your espresso, I highly recommend just measure out 18 gram. If 18 gram is your thing, do it. Uh, if not, do 16 or 17 gram. By the way, I'm using the uh, just regular, I'm using the Amazon baskets or IMS baskets. So this is the uh, 18 gram baskets. Yeah, so this is the 18 gram baskets here. So if you are using the stock basket from Braber, I try 16, okay? 18 gram does not fit with a darker roast. So I definitely do underdose on if you, if you are using stock baskets. So this is the uh, uh, Amazon baskets. Uh, IMS make the exact same basket as well. But obviously, you know, I prefer IMS, but you know, Amazon basket is okay. It's about $18 for Amazon baskets. Works pretty good, all right. But once you're getting into really light roast, something delicate, uh, I think um, you know, high end basket definitely helps for sure. All right, so let's check the grind size and then let's go, <coughs> let's pull the shot, okay, and see what happens. Yeah, I set a number eight right now, okay. I set a number eight, and the one thing. With the darker roast, I want to go little, at least at a default temperature. Do not go too high, okay? Because you don't, you do not want to over extract your coffee. So the way to check your temperature on your Bravo machines: program button and power button at the same time, and then whatever light comes on here, that is your temperature, okay? So program button is the uh, default temperature. It's all around like 200 Celsius. And then we had one cup is like plus two, plus four, minus two, minus four. Okay, so let's find out where my current temperatures is at. Right now I'm at plus four, so I'm gonna go down to default temperature. Okay. So it's about about 200 Celsius. So that's what I want. Okay. I'm just gonna flush my cup. Just make sure my temperature is uh, right temp. I'm just going to flush it. Heat up the cup at the same time. Oh, by the way, so how many people use uh, tap water? Okay, if you are using tap water, trying to get a better tasting water, but do not use the tap water directly. 
because it depends on where you are at. I mean, a lot of, you know, hard water, okay? You don't want to, you, you want to avoid hard water because, I mean, you want to clock your, so this one has a thermal block, okay? So it does not have boiler, but it has a thermal block. Think of it as an instant hot water, okay? But I recommend, you know, good tasting water without harshness, okay? All right, let's go 18 gram going in. Grind size at number eight, so right on the middle, right in the middle. Okay. If you have a dosing cup, it's great. If not, that's okay too. But most of you have this, right, at home. Uh, 3D dosing funnel. Uh, this thing is wonderful. Okay. So let's use the 3D dosing funnel. All right. So by the who I know a lot of you owns the Bravo Barista Express and then move up from there. Move up from like dual boiler or, you know, separate grinder. All right, here we go. Okay, my grind size is number eight right now. Smells great though. Smells great. Hold on, I'm just gonna go one more time. I like to tap it in the end. All right. The grinder sounds a little tired, isn't it? Yeah, but it's all right. So it comes the grind quality from built-in grinder. It's not that bad. I know some people don't like it, but hey. Uh, this is my homemade WDT tools. Just homemade. Okay, you don't. You could buy one. All right, you could buy one. You can make one as well. I think I have a video on that too. Okay, I'm just gonna go declump everything. Uh, this is must, guys. If you don't have a uh, rubber pads, get one. Okay, get one. I think I have a link on that as well in my section description. Description section. Okay. Just nice and flat. Uh, there's a lot of tools, right? Uh, distribution tools. I'm I'm just gonna skip it. Okay. I have a lot of tools, but just using my stock because I know most of you start making espresso you don't have a lot of tools yet so i'm just gonna go with this all right i'm just gonna go give you a comes to temping pressure just be consistent okay all right that's it okay i mean you, you're not gonna get a tight clean on uh, temping because the size so this is a 53 millimeter so but hey it's all right so let's lock it in. Hold on. You know what? I'm, I think I'm going to... I know some people add paper on the top as well. So, you know what? Let's do that. I'm going to add some paper. I think uh, Good Brothers Coffee has one. I think I have a link as well for his link. Uh, he serves paper. I like to use... Uh, sometimes I use bottom and top too. This, it's going to be, you know, protect... Not to protect... Uh, Make your shower screen cleaner, that's all. That's why some people use the puck screen as well. All right, I think we are ready to pull the shot. Okay, so it comes to shot time. I know people ask me, when do I, when do I start uh, you know, measuring my time? You know what, I always, I like to start uh, start my time when I push the button. Okay, I know some people say when you see uh, see this dropped, you know first drop. But for the consistency sake, uh, I like to just start my time when I start the button. I wait about three. I'm doing the manual mode right now. About four seconds pre infusion. It's about 10 bar pressure, okay. Let's go one to two ratio. It's about nine bar right now at the moment. Maybe like 30, yeah, let's go 40 gram. 29 seconds, to just under 30. Hey, what, 37.5 gram? I mean, that's great shot. Okay, it comes to recipe wise, I mean, this is a uh, pretty right on it. 
Okay, one to two. Beautiful crema as well. Look at that, look at the crema. Yeah, they're, they're fantastic. Uh, dark, what's the tasting note? Uh, dark chocolate, sweet and creamy. I mean, it looks, I mean, it looks really good, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, the grind size is at number eight. Okay, so I like to start with the, uh, I like to start with the middle, always middle. If you are using Bravo Vista Pro, that's number 15. Okay, if you are using the Express, I like to start with the number eight. And then if a shot is too fast or too slow, you can adjust from there, up or down. If a shot is too fast, go lower setting, right? Maybe, so right now eight, maybe go down to maybe like six or seven. Okay, you can slow down the shot. If you're too, uh, too slow, okay, go up. Okay, if you're slow, which means they're over extracting it. So you wanna make your grind size larger, so coarser. So six, I'm sorry, eight, maybe nine or 10. Okay, start with, I mean, so that's how you adjust your grind size. Cheers, guys. So this is a Neapolitan blend. Dark, dark chocolate creamy yeah i mean this is great okay so this is great uh for black coffee is fantastic you know if you make goodness you can make cortado out of it is also fantastic as well you know let's make you know what i guess let, uh, let's make cortado with this why not okay so let me show you how to kind of bonus se uh, session right now i'm going to show you guys how to use uh, how to use a steam okay how to use a steam uh, steam one uh, obviously you know you have comes with your browser make picture they're fine too okay grab your milk picture just milk uh, I'm using the lactose free milk okay so it's not the best milk for latte art but hey you know and it comes to milk amount So here's, a, I mean, every milk picture give you like lines. I like to below the lines. So I'm gonna make a cortado, all right. I'm just gonna add some little bit of milk. Not too much, okay. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna transfer my espresso to my large cup here because th this is not exactly like you know it's not user friendly for espresso uh latte anyway latte art okay let's do it All right start your steamer hope you guys can see this i, I like to uh, i like to s start the steamer first So you're gonna heat up, okay? And do you see that? The water's coming out here. You don't want the water going in. I'm gonna stop, add back in. So you're gonna purge the water. And then you're gonna start introducing air. Mic uh, you are going to create the micro bubble. Kind of like hissing sound. It's not the fastest milk uh, steamer, but I mean, it works pretty good. So when milk is ready, it's too hot to touch from the bottom. Okay. So milk is ready. Make sure wipe it clean. And perch. There we go. Make sure all they get the milk. I know some people likes to transfer right now to other milk picture. You know, get the you know bubble, you know, micro bubble out, but you don't have to. Okay, I know some people do. 
Here we go. I'm just going to add this. This is a little flat though, but it's all right. Because it's press going in. Hopefully you guys can see this. Just tilt it. You, know, you can make something like that as well. I mean, it all depends on you know what kind of latte you want to do, but I mean, this is something easy pattern. The fact is, I mean, you can make a great latte art with your Bravo machine at home. Okay, it just take a little longer, but definitely you can make it. Okay, you know, you can do two loops. You can, you know. Rosetta if you want to, simple heart shape. Here we go, cheers. I'm just gonna have a one sip. Yeah, I cannot do too much dairy right now, nowadays. And it should be really good. Man, they're great. They're fantastic. The, the th uh, thing about uh, trying to eat healthy, right? I'm trying to cut up my dairy in my diet. You know what, just one sip. I mean, that's, yeah, I just give myself one sip there. Again, so um, uh, if you're joining us, we are talking about the grind size on your Bravo Beast Express. I'm studying at number eight. Uh, so I got lucky with the grind size, okay? If your shot was too slow or too fast, I can make adjust from that, all right? Okay, hold on. Uh, we have uh, we have a question. He said, uh, the app said, I have uh, Bravo Beast Express, always goes over nine bar. Uh, you can adjust your pressure, okay? O only way to do that is you, you need to change your grind size. Grind size to, uh, you know, control your pressure, that's it, all right? So obviously if grind size is too fine, so you're gonna go all the way up to about 13 or 14 bar pressure automatically. Because the, I mean that's what this machine sets at, but brand new, a brand new Bravo Bistro Express coming out, they set at nine bar. So I mean my machine is old, okay, my old there. Okay, Jerry asked me, uh, we should talk about the cup size as well. What kind of cup size? So this is cappuccino cup size. It's more like six ounce, okay. It's a six ounce cup. And if you wanna go large, so this is uh, maybe like maybe 10 to 12 ounce, okay? So it all depends. Okay, so it depends on the, uh, your cup size. So it makes it a lot easier, right? I mean, like this one here, I just use, you know, cappuccino. His milk is all gone. So it all depends on, you know, how much milk you wanna use. Based on that, if you wanna do large cup, instead of a print here, go maybe to the middle here, and you can adjust that. So, I mean, this is good for like, 10 to 12 ounce latte. Okay, so it's not that big. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, Carboy say, is there a pre infusion update? I can uh, look at the pre infusion. Uh, I'm not quite sure about that one, right? I mean, uh, we should talk about the legato sometime. I'm going to bring that machine out. Yeah, we're going to go over that as well. Uh, there is an overpressure valve option. You can buy it and you can install yourself. But I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know about, you know, self-installation. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. You know, I mean, personally, I like just stock. Okay, if you start tinker, uh, tinkering with your machine, you're going to avoid the uh, avoid, uh, warranty and, yeah. Okay, hold on a second here. I think we are. Are we good? All right, hold on. Uh, let's see here. Java, Java Jim, Java Jimbo, Jimba. Okay, when you uh, turn on the grinder before add. Uh, okay, so uh, Java is talking about the hot star. It's hard to do on your grinder. Okay, period. You know, there's no easy way to start your grinder. If you are using, you know, regular grinder, you can just turn it on. You can put the beans in it. It's called hot star. With this, uh, you know what? You just have to put the beans in, and then you press the button. I know some people start with a little bit of tip here, this thing, notch. You can start it, and they put the coffee beans after. 
but I mean that's more hassle okay it's more hassle there George asked me uh, any Lapaboni session with the Bruce oh that's a great question I mean I can go you know Lapaboni with the Bruce, Bruce anytime so yeah I mean we haven't come up with time yet but yeah sure sure why not okay I think we are uh, it was a little short session this morning shout out to Florian this morning Daniel from Ireland as well yeah we have you know we have our regular friends are joining us this morning Kent yeah. you know quiet Monday morning okay quiet Monday morning but I mean this is one of my favorite machine okay this is my favorite machine uh, you say I remember uh, by the the uh, Essington bird does not work with this one, unfortunately. Does not work. Yeah. Does not work. So you have to get the right machine. And also make sure to check your serial number as well before you buy the Essington birds. All right. Yeah. These all depend on the year and model with that birds. So, yeah. That is unfortunate, but. I have no, uh, if you have an older Bravo Beast Express, yeah, you can upgrade to a newer one. Uh, David from Mexico. Let's see here. Uh, we have, uh, do you prefer, yeah, you know what, I prefer Pro, personally. Pro is one of my favorite coffee machines now. One of my favorite machines. Yeah, the JC, yep. I mean, when um, it comes to Bravo machine, is at home use, can't complain. I think that's the best one out there. Uh, George said, you know what? Uh, yes. Is a, is a Powerball tonight? Is a Powerball or Mega Million? $500 million, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I, th yeah, I think I might want to play that as well. I think I might want to play the, the $500 million Powerball. You know, you're not going to win, but if you don't buy, you're definitely not going to win. All right. So yes, I mean, at least if I mean, at least I like to buy one ticket. Let's give me a, a chance, little chance, but chance. Okay, guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Uh, I'll be back sometime today. Uh, I got some fun uh, unboxing to do. All right, I got fun unboxing to do, so I cannot wait. I cannot wait to unbox. I don't know. I'm thinking about doing unboxing uh, sometime today. Okay. So this is a, it's called DJ Kettle. DJ Kettle, it's, it's, it's a lot of, I mean, this is a fun kettle, okay? It's a Cuda Ultimate Brew. Yeah, Cuda Ultimate Brew. Wow. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. I'm gonna see you guys later.